Chun Leung, one of the world's leading authorities on Wing Chun Kung Fu. He is also recognized within the Hong Kong martial arts community as being the late Bruce Lee's foremost instructor under the guidance of Grandmaster Yip Mun. The sequence of simple hand patterns being performed here, although appearing rather gentle and harmless at first glance, are the seeds of an ingenious system of combat containing some of the deadliest close-range fighting techniques ever devised. Wing Chun, based on the principles of both physics and human anatomy, has been proven as one of the most practical forms of self-defense to date. Grandmaster Yip Mun was responsible for Wing Chun's world fame. The text you see here, written by him, is the entire history of this southern Chinese system which he introduced to Hong Kong from his native province, Guangdong. The roots of the art go back to the famed Shaolin Monastery, which for centuries was the hub of Chinese martial arts. During the Qing Dynasty, Manchu troops killed most of the Shaolin warrior monks and burned down their monastery. Among the few survivors was a Buddhist nun, Ng Moi, who took refuge in the White Crane Temple at Tai Leung Mountain. There, according to legend, she created a system of Kung Fu after being inspired by watching a crane and fox in combat. She then taught her deadly art to a woman, Yim Wing Chun, whom the style has been named after. Yip Mun, the fifth generation master who died in 1972, openly propagated what was once a secret style in order to preserve the art from extinction. His disciple, Bruce Lee, credits Wing Chun for being the basis from which his own modern style, Jeet Kune Do, evolved. Wing Chun is a very effective system due to its scientific approach to combat. The style's sophisticated fighting principles are based on both simplicity and the theory of economy of motion or conservation of energy. All the techniques are designed to be structurally faster than other fighting methods as well as more efficient. An imaginary line running down the middle of the body called the center line is the basis of Wing Chun fighting theory. Its path is determined by crossing the wrists while extending the arms first down, then up. This movement is found in the beginning of all three Wing Chun forms. Many of the vulnerable points of the human body are located along the center line. Thus, Wing Chun's offensive theory stresses attacking an opponent's center line. Attacking either to the left or right of his center line, your force will be dissipated if he rolls with the blow. Attack his center line and he must absorb the strike's full impact. 
all Wing Chun's offensive techniques, in particular the straight punch, which is the style's major weapon, begins from the center line. Notice your fists travel along the same path which is perpendicular to the center line. Wing Chun punching is always direct, since the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Your fist originates at your center line and is delivered directly to his center line. In general, your opponent's nose is the target. Defensively, Wing Chun stresses the instinctive protection of one center line to a tight on-guard arm position where the elbow of your lead arm is always a fist distance from the center line. Never is the elbow out since you are left exposed. Though your arm moves to block, your elbow remains a fixed axis. Wing Chun employs shifting, allowing the body to revolve on its center line axis. Defensively, shifting helps you roll with punches that may get by your blocks. Offensively, shifting creates various angles for attacks that will subtly penetrate an opponent's defenses. Body shifting also increases the distance of your arm's reach. Shifting quickly magnifies punching power since tremendous force is generated from sudden torque in the waist and hips. Wing Chun is structurally faster than many styles of fighting because it employs simultaneous offense and defense. Block and attack should not be separated into two motions. Wing Chun's block and attack is executed in one motion. After striking out, the fist automatically blocks when retracted.